Here is a sketchbook. A book you sketch in. Uh, it doesn't look like much. It's not even got a fucking cover. Uh, it's not not uh, not great. Looks a bit underwhelming. Maybe maybe average at best. But look a little closer. Give it a minute. You realise it gets a darn sight bigger and more impressive. Yeah, just like my penis. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you, thank you. I'm uh, uh, very, very proud of the work I've been able to do here today. Thank you. Uh, so I showed this um, in a little video a while ago, but I found it again recently and thought, you know, fuck you, I like it. I'm going to show it off again, proper, in, in depth. I'll try to give a full scope of the, the magnitude of this book. I like, it's been a, a running theme for quite some time, the one arm bigger than the other. I started doing a series of drawings. Oh, I might have one here. Look, it's Lobo as a girl, one big arm, one not. Um, started a series of those and then didn't go anywhere with it, which is, you know, how most things go. Uh, and then, then we, we fold out, dear. Wow, look at that. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Wow. That was cool. Uh, a lot of people online liked that one. They thought it had some kind of meaning to it. Um, essentially, I am saying women are pigs. <laughs> Oh, got him again. No, uh, it's just a drawing. I literally, that's how most of my drawings go. You know, one of the premier questions people like to ask creatives is, where do you get your ideas? And nine times out of ten, it's the image was in my head and then I drew it. And that's it. That's it. That's where it goes. The image of that was in my head. I drew it as best I could. That's my friend Petey. Oh, look, it's a snake dog. Tying his shoes, I don't know. Doesn't need to be naked. That's my friend as an octopus. There's a guy, uh, like an animation almost, of a guy turning and throwing up. Or maybe he's taking a big cock in his mouth. Oh, I'm jealous. Those are cool. That's the same gal uh, or person of whatever. Heads. Shit like this is just filling in the space. Because that's what I miss about sketchbooks now i'm a career fucking commissionist i guess i don't get to fuck around in a sketchbook as much but i miss having i guess downtime where i could just sit and draw heads to fill in the space because i drew her i drew her and then i was like okay so now i've got this space to fill to, to and i tried to get the pages bleeding into each other so it wasn't just unconnected pages connected together um so i put the heads in for whatever fucking reason. These are cool though, I like those. These are some nice, I like the shapes, that's why I drew them, because I like the, the the shapes of the, do you see how long it took me to get my fingers to work in that, because I was about to go like this, and then and this, and I was like, no, I can't, that. <sighs> these are fun, I, these these are fun to do, fun to draw. Um, draw the outline of the guy, spray paint the color, and then you fill in the body parts, try to get the colors to match up vaguely. I've done a few goblins like that, um, so I figured try to do something a bit more. Did a Spider Man, a bit of a weird looking Spider Man, but you get the idea. That's kind of cool. I like the little. Um, this is the sort of shit that like it would be cool to make a toy like that, but you, you physically couldn't because it would have to have like a cloud for a head with all these different elements floating around it. So bollocks to that idea, I guess. Spider-Man's, you get it. Hulk's, Spider-Man and Hulk, my favorite super people, humans. Love the Hulk. One issue I always have with the Hulk, I find, is I never do this. There's supposed to be this, like, not huge, but like quite a big gap between his nose and his top lip. And that's where you get, like, your drawing of a big green guy to really look like the Hulk. So you get that. So drawings like this, it's like, you can tell it's the Hulk. Obviously, I like the different elements, the black and white arm, the green arm here, and then the giant hand, which was a separate drawing. I think I drew that first and then decided to make it the Hulk. 
and then I whatever. Um, but yeah, so you, it, you you get that it's the Hulk, but the face is just kind of angry green man, whereas that is a bit more Hulk like, um, like in Alex Ross's drawings of like the actual ape Hulk looking guy. Some shit there. Well, that was uh, a roughy rough for the guy wearing a ball gag going into his anus. <clears throat> That's funny. My naked man's guy in a shirt and tie with a fag saying hello. Fish tits. Love some fish tits. I This was... I, I did, had this image in my head, another one of those pesky images in my head that I've just got to get down on paper because the creative urge is too much to bear. And that's been there for eons, years, decades. Um, and then they did it on Bojack Horseman, and I was like, oh, well, that's, that's that idea. Gone. Gone into the shitter, like so much shit. That guy... So this is one of those instances where it just looks like two random pages stuck together. And this, the whole sketchbook is um, bigger paper, folded, and then some, some of it's folded, some of it's... It might just be just stuck down. Um, with thinner paper, with spray glue, across the two pages, and then folded in order to... And then... I've put the paper on this side and then on the other side so it folds in on itself. Yeah. Um, that's There's uh, the, the ball gag guy. See the ball gags in his ass. I think this was the maybe the alpha version and then the beta version I did a separate drawing. And then someone made it as a, a 3D graphic imaging model. That was really cool. A bird with legs. Some shit, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing, but he's having a good time, so that's all that counts. Skateboarding Viking. I painted a picture like that ages ago, years ago, maybe like 2014 or something. I quite liked it, but I guess I wanted to redo it. So, like, he's skating over a ramp made of skulls, and his skulls exploding out everywhere and shit. Oh, look, I guess this is me with pens up my nose, masturbating to porn. Uh, whatever. Judge Dread, this guy working on some graffiti lettering, as I am wont to do. Oh, delicious! That's really, really good. Actually, I really like that drawing. Um, I really like that drawing. I really like that drawing. They made it into my uh, my my ball points book. There's quite a few drawings from this that made it into that. Um, this was for, I guess, preliminary sketches for a commission. Uh, the guys, the what do they call them? Not executioners or whatever, the gang members from um, Manhunt. Um, I forget the names of, of that particular gang, but that was that was quite a fun one. Quite a fun one, quite like that. I like this skull. I like its, it's like, weird shape. That And that comes from just doodling a random shape and then making it a skull. Going, yeah, that works. And then, I like it. That's really, really good. I really like that. Uh, the muscles in the legs and shit. Uh, rats, rat bros. Um, I go on and on about the Rat Bro team again and again because I fucking love them and their work. I'll make a video just on them. Um, they make like rat human hybrid dolls that look like this. Um, so I drew one as just a rat with like human clothing bits on it. Um, that's a frog. Oh, that's a friend of mine. God, look how long it is. It just goes and goes and goes. Like my. P uh, that was in my ballpoints book as well. I was really happy with that. I uh, not edited, but like skewed the proportions slightly just to make it fun to draw. I don't know. Batman vs. the Hulk. I wanted to do something with that. There's Guy. I did something with that. Some shit. That was for... Uh, the For a thing. That, that was for a thing. Uh, illustrating rap lyrics. That's what that was. Hexagon head shape. Can you catch my angle? Unicycle verbal. Unicycle. I ride with no handle. That was my my how to draw a penis tutorial. Because obviously everyone draws them like this, but you've got to take into account the uh, you know if you if you trim it here, chop it here, you know that's what the inside of a penis looks like. So it's not just circular. It's got like shapes to it and depth. There's this bump you've got to take into account. There's the, the frenulum here connecting the, the glands penis to the shaft. Foreskin, if you're into that. And there's, there's yeah, so there's form and shape. Keep an eye on the vein. Keep an eye on drips. 
So that's, you know, this is cool, you know, in a pinch. If you've not got much time to draw a penis, if you're doing it on a wall quickly, then there you go, penis, penis. But if you're really going to get into the, the, the meat of a penis, then this is, you know, that. Some faces and shit, kind of cool. Like little bits of shadow and whatnot. Oh, this was some, like, I don't even know, trying to have meaning. Um, oh, I don't agree with what this person said, but they're not harming anyone, so that's okay. Um, what you sh shouldn't do is be like, bro, I don't like what you said, you shouldn't be allowed to, you just go die, bro. I don't know, obviously that never went anywhere, and rightly so. Uh, oh, God, stretch it out. That was okay, but I, uh, I was really self-conscious about the lines for the fishnets, and I made them really shitty, and it kind of ruined the drawing as a whole, which is a shame. Maybe not ruined, but made it less good than could have been. A bunch of skulls. Batman looking... Well, I don't know. I was going to draw Lego Batman and Robin like having sex just on each other. Not having sex, but just like on each other as if someone had put them there being like, oh, they're having sex. Uh, but I didn't. Uh, most of my ideas get get shafted, put in the shitter, as I said, as they... As they should. Uh, I wanted to draw a big fight scene, just loads of random people fighting, biting his arm, punching his face. Um, but actually, it's really hard to draw, man. Like, you get the idea in your head so clearly. Like, yeah, I can picture it perfectly. People fighting and stuff. But the image in my head is moving. So trying to capture a screenshot of that in my mind and put it on the paper, then it's like, where do the people go? How do they fit? Oh, I don't know. Octopus. Girl in a cute skirt. That was cool. That's from a photo on Instagram that had all colourful lights, so I imitated it as best I could with the tools I had available. That's That was half of a, a, the sculpture. There was a sculpture of a chimp face, and you know, chimp faces with my ballpoint book. Ugh, I can't get it. Fuck. My ballpoint book. We like chimp faces. So... I drew half the thing, and then I put half the sculpture photo here and my drawing here, and that looked quite good. Bum coming at his head. That's funny. Some shit. Uh, a lantern head guy. Naked man. Things. Coming on her tits and face. That's funny too. And finishing up, getting to the end. Uh, that's quite a cool claw hand thing in it um this is a kind of a drawing of the big devil guy from ghouls and ghosts i i guess around this time about 2019 ish maybe mid 2019 i had my um my old sega mega drive system with ghouls and ghosts on it so i was playing that and then this was like the big demon end boss guy who had a big face in his tummy as well as his head i don't know what's going on here or here doodles and shit quite like this but I don't know what it is and that is my long fucking ass sketchbook hope you enjoyed it mm.